Hi folks, this is Arun with Go Engineer. In this video, I'd like to showcase the Material Definition app as an alternative to creating custom materials. Please take a look at the Creating Custom Materials video on our playlist to do this within the simulation application. The Material Definition app enables you to create and investigate multiple materials in a dedicated tab on the 3D Experience platform. Here we have a rubber bumper with an exclamation mark in the solid section definition. This indicates that the material is missing, so let's create one using the Material Definition app. You can access this app by selecting the compass and keying in the first couple of letters of the app's name. Selecting the Material Definition icon will open this application in New tab. This way your current simulation session isn't disrupted which is a unique benefit to launching apps on the 3D Experience platform. Notice that the name of the current application shows up on the menu bar. The Spectre in the Material Editor lists the materials that are currently being used in the session whose properties can be modified here. In case you don't see the tree, look for a white chevron symbol to the left of the screen and select it to reveal the tree. To create a new material, select the Create Material button on the Action bar. This will bring up the material creation box. Ensure to specify a material name and activate the material simulation domain. Here we will create a 60 durometer silicone rubber. Optionally, you can turn off the appearance domain in the covering material section. This is to specify the appearance of the component with this material defined, which may not be relevant for analysis. Once you've created the material, you will notice that it shows up on the spectry with the Material Simulation Domain feature. Double-click this feature to input the material properties that are necessary for the analysis. Here, I'll show you an example of creating a silicone 60 hyperelastic material with a few Mooney Rivlin coefficients. Expand the Structures tree to locate the density and key in the appropriate value. Then, expand the Mechanical tree to locate the hyperelastic material definition under the elastic properties. If you've accidentally clicked one of the other options, you can delete them by selecting the red X next to the input. Once you select the hyperelastic material, look for the Mooney Rivlin model under the strain energy potential definition. Then key in the appropriate values for the three coefficients. Once you've created the material, ensure you save your session to register it to your database. In this manner, you can create and save multiple materials in a single session. Let's get back to our simulation tab to apply the newly created SI60 material. Double click the rubber bumper solid section and select the search button to open the material palette. You can quickly access the material by selecting the in session option, which displays the materials present in all the tabs on the 3D experience platform. This video presented a different method to create materials for your analysis. Please check out our other videos on our channel to learn how to set up an analysis with Simulioworks. Again, this is Arun Taraviyam and thanks for watching.